Yo. Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. I'm your host, Jose Rocks. Today we have another episode of Journey Through VGC. The current format we in is Regulation D. Y'all ready? Let's get into it. All right, so we have our new team today. This is the team that I've been trying to get some games in with. Uh, I played a lot of games with it, but a lot of my games were getting disconnected, right? I don't know what's been going on the past week. So it's taking me a lot longer to make this video because I don't want to keep, you know, posting games where I'm getting, um, where I'm timing out. We're not timing out. We're just getting disconnected, you know, like mid-match uh, when the match is going well. So it took me a little bit longer to, you know, get the footage for this team because of that issue. But I think, you know, to, uh, towards, you know, the end, I was able to pretty much get it wrapped up. So this team is really cool. So it features the main mode. It's going to be Articuno, Obama Snow. I really wanted to just try out Articuno. And it's actually the third bird I've tried. Um, I, I've had, uh, as far as the um, the Kanto birds, because I tried, I had a team with Zapdos, which is also on my channel, um, using like an Armor Rude strategy with it, and um, a really cool Greninja Annihilate strategy, which was really fun, where we went for the Rage Fist, uh, sorry about that, we went for Rage Fist uh, after getting hit with the Water Shurigan, so that was pretty cool, and then we also had a balanced uh, Kanto Moltres team with like uh, Tailwind and Leftovers and Grass Terror, and that Moltres set was like pretty good. So, the idea behind this team is Articuno is really hard to hit when the snow is up due to the snow cloak and the bright powder. And it, can, it plays for like a lot of win cons where your opponent's moves are like almost 50% accurate, maybe a little bit better, like 60. So, you're dodging a lot of attacks that should hit you. And with the water terror and roost and tailwind, like so you're outspeeding things, it makes it really difficult for, you know, Pokemon to be able to hit it and knock it out cleanly, right? Unless they're like hitting it like super effectively twice in a row. But even hitting it twice in a row with the ability and the item is hard to do. And this team does feature, you know, a tailwind mode and a trick room mode, which I think is useful for any team that you're, you know, trying to climb the ladder with to have both forms of, you know, speed control. It's really good. The Obama Snow is uh, pretty standard. It does carry the Rocky Helmet. So the Rocky Helmet is a really cool tech into like other water Urshifu. You can switch it in. On like when they want to safely go into like Surgeon Strikes in Articuno or Chimpao or a Farigarath, right? Because those are usually the Surgeon Strikes targets on this team. Then you can switch in Art on Bomber Snow and then pretty much chip down Urshifu to half and you can one-shot it back with an Energy Ball. Um, also, getting up a Roar Veil is really good next to the Articuno because making Articuno bulkier plus it being hard to hit and then also getting the opportunity to freeze more just makes it like really hard to deal with. And you'll see that a lot in this episode to where Articuno was just freezing things and they really didn't get a chance to move, right? So that's pretty much the idea behind that. Earth Power is just to give you some coverage into the fire types that kind of resist the grass and ice and also into like, you know, Heatran and uh, Hisui and Arcanine, right? Because those can't really deal with Earth Powers that well. The Urshifu set is going to be a pretty standard Urshifu set. It is just Mystic Water, Water Terror, Surgeon Strikes. This Urshifu, I cannot, you know, understate how important it is to this team. Like, being able to help you with screens, to bust through screens, and also to help you deal with Godango, which Godango is one of the hardest matchups for this team. So, two matchups you should look out for is Grimmsnarl plus bulky screens with, like, Gudra. And then you have potential screens or just bulky um, Godango, right? Because it can resist the Ice-type attacks. And it also hits Articuno and Bomber Snow both super effectively. And you can only tear it both, right? I mean, you can only tear it one. And then the ch it hits the Chen Pao if you don't tear that as well. So what I usually do is I lead Urshifu Chen Pao into those Godango leaves. And I just try to get, remove the Godango as soon as possible, right? And also you could lead Dragapult Chen Pao and remove Godango. But if it tears away from the Ghost Typing, then it might be like a roll for you to be able to KO with a Terror Blast, right? So that's, I, I do feel like if you do see Godango, you need to remove it as soon as possible if you have a Bomber Snow or Articuno in the back. So the Chimpao set, this is the most interesting set on the team. So this is an Assault Vest, super bulky Chimpao with enough speed investment to outspeed max speed Urshifu. And that's about it. So you're, you're around that speed tier. But of course on Tailwind, you're going to outspeed everything. And, you know, under Trick Room, you're able to underspeed a lot of the Flutter Mains and the other Chen Pao. So this, and the reason it's so slow is because I invested heavily in the special defense so that the Assault Vest, you know, you're able to tank Dazzling Gleams even without tearing. And when you tear with Assault Vest, you're taking like maybe 20, 30% from, 
you know, dazzling gleam from a lot of powerful Flutter Man. Now, a lot of Flutter Man are just not expecting you to take that much damage. I mean, to take that little damage. And then you're also adamant. So your Ice Spinners and your Sucker Punches and your Sacred Swords are doing a lot more than people are used to with the Jolly Nature of the Chim Pow. So that's really useful. And then you also have the Terra Blast. So the Terra Blast is what we deal, what we use to deal with those bulky water types. Now, you do have Energy Ball and Freeze Dry on Obama Snow and Articuno, but on things that are like, you know, faster than them that usually want, that want to tear it to water in front of them, they, if they tear it to water, then you if you don't tear Articuno on Obama Snow, then you have that, you know, super effective Terra Blast to hit them with. And I've done it so many times where I use this to just remove a water type from the field immediately or to remove an Urshifu, and it's really clutch. Because like I said, if it's not Scarf Urshifu, then Chen Pao always outspeeds Urshifu. And the main thing that you really want to pick up the one hit KO on with is a water Terra Godango and a regular water Urshifu, right? So that's the idea behind that. A Figraph is here. Um, I added this to the team instead of the Heatran that was originally on this team with uh, Leftovers uh, and Substitute because I, I kind of wanted something to support Dragapult more. And I felt like this team was threatened by priority pretty well, as well as like hard trickling teams. So the idea behind the Fergograph is that you're able to imprison and lock down those um, hard trickling teams. And the reason there's Citrus Berry here is because Rocky Helmet is taken up from Obama Snow because Rocky Helmet is also a good uh, item on Fergograph. So we have the Citrus Berry to give us more healing and be able to survive um, a Urshifu Surgeon Strikes Barrage from when they like Water Terrors in the rain. You can survive that with Fergograph because uh, I have a lot of defense investment on it with the Citrus Berry. And last but not least, you have Dragapult. This Dragapult is one of the sets that um, I think it might be U-Turn instead of Sucker Punch, but I kind of want a Sucker Punch just to have some type of priority on Dragapult so you're not always stuck out in case you get caught out of position and you can't protect. So you want to at least be able to deal some type of damage if you come out. And that's the idea behind Sucker Punch instead of U-Turn. Uh, U-Turn could be good, but I don't really see a lot of things that you can really pivot into on this team besides like Obama Snow and Frigoraph. So that's the idea why I didn't have U-Turn on this team. But the Ghost Terror, Terror Blast, and Phantom Force is absolutely dangerous. Like, I, I don't believe I clicked Dragon Darts or Sucker Punch once in this episode. But the Phantom Force and the Dragon, um, the Terror Blast throughout, you know, all my matches was just incredible with this team. So I do think that this Dragon Pulse set is not gimmicky. I think that it's very strong and it's hard to deal with. And if they don't have, like, proper speed control or um, a booster energy flutter main, then you can just wipe through anything, right? And then they, it's not even safe for them to have normal types because Dragapult is usually gonna be beside Chin Power or Urshifu, and both those threaten normal types with fighting type characters, right? And no normal type wants to really switch in on Chin Power Sacred Sword because it's just doing so much damage. So that's why, you know, they're a good pair. And then you can just click the, um, you can click the Phantom Force and the Terra Blast into pretty much everything. And also Dark Types, which can reduce the damage from Phantom Force because they resist it. But they still taking a lot of damage from it. And then Chen Pao is able to just, you know, deal with the Dark Types as well. So that's going to be it for this team. Um, inter this this pretty much this team intro. And let's go ahead and get into some battles. Let's get into it. So we have Tornadus, Fluttermane, Godango, Urshifu. Landorus, Iron Bundle. So pretty hyper offense. Uh, my opponent's team does not like Trick Room. So I kind of want to play towards that. And I'll play towards the Assault Vest Chin Pal. Should I play towards Urshifu? Yeah, I play towards Urshifu. Urshifu is really too good here, to be honest. Under Trick Room and I was, like just surging strikes through everything except his bundle. Uh, that might be Dark Urshifu now that I see like he has a bundle. He already has a water type on his team. So if it's Dark Urshifu, it's probably Sunny Day on Tornadus.
I'm gonna see how this go this one's gonna go. Alright, what is my opponent going to lead? So it's Tornadus, Godengo. Are we afraid of a Thunderbolt here? I don't see nothing wrong with Trick Room. Surgeon Strikes into... I kind of want to Terra Surgeon Strikes into Tornadus. Try to remove it so he can't really set weather up. Once I get my weather duo in. Alright, I think the only thing we're worried about here is a Godango Thunderbolt, but I think he should, you know, want to get uh stop trick room. So I think it may be a make it rain plus bleak win. Try to deny trick room. But we should be able to survive that. And we're just faster than tornadoes. So it is a bleak win. Uh it looks close. It's a bulkier tornadoes. Is he citrus berry? Ah, he survives with a, a slugger. So he is slower than my Urshifu. But he missed Bleak One. Okay. That's a lot of damage. He got a crit on this. That's probably gonna KO now with the crit. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess that makes up for him missing the Frigograph. I wonder if the bleak wind plus the... I'm pretty sure that's choice specs make it rain. I wonder if that was enough. Yeah, the crit really mattered there. Because I, I kind of need an Urshifu to deal with the Godango. I don't really have any good damage into it. Besides Earth Power. But it is minus one. So go for a dazzle here. And freeze dry for some chip. Making rain is gonna hurt here. Oh, right, that's a good that's a good protect. Freeze. Oh, we do get a freeze. That's a clutch freeze right there. And he stays frozen. I think I have Blizzard to cover for a switch. I think I should have switched into Obama Snow right there. I think Tornadus wants to switch. If he switches here, that means he definitely has weather control. He showed Bleak Wind. I mean, he just tells me this. I did a decent amount. Go then go stage frozen. Flutter main. We're going to bring out Bama Snow here. And then Blizzard again. Ah, that freeze was clutch, but this is what this team does. Like, when you're clicking, you know, the freeze moves, you have a chance. You have an out. And now Articuno Snow Cloak activated, so it can also dodge moves. Nice 
makes these things frozen. A Fluttermane does have Trick Room. Okay. I wanted to imprison there, but I didn't think it was worth it. How good, how valuable is... Uh, if it's Urshifu in the back, it's just gonna crit through the screens, right? I think I need to try to get rid of Godango now while I got the chance. Before it unthaws. He switches in Lando, it's just gonna get one shot. Alright, stage frozen. And then goes down. So what's his my opponent's last one? I think I may want to switch into Frigoraf and go for the Aurora Veil. Okay, so Aurora Veil doesn't matter here. Best bet is a quick blizzard. I'm gonna go ahead and close out the game. Uh, that, I can't understate how clutch that freeze was. Alright, what's Terra in here? Alright, dark. So he's going for the wicked blow. Uh, probably try to one shot Articuno. That shouldn't KO. Nice. And he misses Wicked Blow. And there's the Bright Powder uh, Snow Cloak. Beautiful. And now we get a single target. Ooh, another freeze. Ooh, this is what this team can do, man. It is absolutely busted. Yeah, my opponent played well, but he couldn't overcome the RNG. But that's the thing about it. Like, even though uh, the team that I saw in Worlds with Obama Snow Articuno, that um, I think his name was uh, Patrick. He took to Worlds. You know, he had he you know played to the same thing. Sometimes you you know those freezes. This is what this team is meant to do. It's meant to freeze you. It's meant to make you miss moves and play towards the RNG. So when you're playing towards that. It doesn't really feel that bad because you're actually playing towards the RNG rather is it just happening based on luck because you're increasing your odds for that to happen but that was a pretty fun game uh, let's get into the next one right so we have tornadoes godango Fluttermane, Gyarados, Iron Hands, and Urshifu. So we know that Godango is difficult for this team. And we know that Tornadus, if it's not removed early, can be a problem, right? So I want to lead Chen Power Urshifu, go for my Electric Terror. And... I really feel like Odengo on lead is a problem. But I can beat it if I can just get the speed control. So I'll go these two in the back. I can beat it if I get the speed control. I can't let it uh, just be able to click and make it rain. And that's um, the first iteration of this team I built. I did have Heatran over Frigoraph, and that did help with my Godango matchup tremendously. But the thing about that was I, I really like using Dragapult on this team. And when I brought Dragapult, well, I can one-shot Gyarados here. 
But when I brought Dragapult, that pretty much um, was easy to lose the Chim Pao because of the Sucker Punch. I like to search, search, go Dingo here. Terra, Electric. Yeah, that's just still KO Gyarados. He shouldn't have seen this coming at all. So removing Gyarados is, is good. I really want to double down at Godango, but I just don't think that it lets me sucker punch him here, right? He didn't he didn't bring tornadoes though, so. We resist, we assault vest plus electric terror, so we resist and make it rain if he goes for that. He didn't even terror. Like, I could have sucker punched Surgeon Strikes and just been done with him. Alright, but Gyarados is gone. So we remove one piece early. We are intimidated, though, but we can switch. And Surgeon Strikes should do more damage. Yeah, terror there would have killed it. But we can KO with Aqua Jet. Yeah, Aqua Jet would definitely KO there. Oh, he's nasty plot. He's in a really that was really greedy right there because you're threatened by like a dark type attack. You didn't terror into like water to get around certain strikes or like a potential crunch. That was really greedy by my opponent. Would he switch here? The switch would be Urshifu. I kinda wanna go out the flood of me. I think I want to go after the flood of me here. No, just Terra Blast. There's a Terra. Now he stayed in with Godango. I wonder if it's Terra and it's a water. It is. He could have went for that turn one. I'm not sure why he didn't go for it. I might lose both here, which is scary. Yeah, that's strong. I should have just. I wanted to tear a blast so bad. Oh, and that doesn't even KO. Yeah. I put myself behind by not targeting the go Dingo. Oh, we survived, though. That's beautiful. So we go for Tailwind Sucker Punch here. As long as he doesn't go for Trick when we're in a good spot. He can protect Godango and KO with Flutterman, but then we get Tailwind up and then we all speed. Alright. So we get rid of Godango. We late we lose Chimp out here, but that's fine because we get Tailwind up. And then we come in with our Mons in the back. And Godango was the biggest piece here. Aracuno takes that relatively well. I could have KO'd the Flutter Main there, but we can always just Blizzard it now since we all speed. Whew, that, that Assault Vest saved me. I bet he's surprised that I survived that Shadow Ball. But that's the uh, that's the assault vest for. Oh, he has tornadoes in the back. I mean, that's fine. I mean, he's never doing enough damage to both of us. He can get rid of the weather. I just go for freeze dry just in case he goes for like a rain dance. And then blizzard. 
That covers my bases. Okay. He's going for a uh, bleak one. That's gonna do a lot to Tornadus. He didn't even go for Tailwind though. All right, he misses one. Articuno. We'll go for the same play again. He can go for Tailwind here in the KO Obama Snow, but then Articuno KOs. Fluttermane. He didn't even go for Gloom. Okay. I could have still went for Blizzard there and just won the game. I'm going, I'm reading too hard into him setting the weather. Because we could lose to a crit here, right? He has to hit too. Bleak wind in the snow. He still hits it. And he does get the crit. <laughs> wow, so he hit Bleak wind in the snow with my snow cloak and my bright powder. And it's already a low accuracy move. That's literally like probably like 40% accurate right now. He still hits it. And he gets a crit. That's insane. But we take that win. RNG take, RNG gives. Okay, let's get into the next one. So we have a trick room team here. With Cresselia, Ursa Luna, Iron Hands, and Urshifu, Heatran, Fluttermane. So it doesn't have trick room, so. Dragapult can one shot something turn one. And then Frigorak can reverse trick room. Can't never Urshifu. I don't like uh, Bomber Snow or Articuno into Iron Hands Heatran because they most they both most likely come, as well as Urshifu Water. So I can just remove Cresselia immediately. And then we'll go from there. All right, so there's he trans for the man. Are you booster energy for the man? Let me know. It's not, okay. So I'll just go for Terra Blast, try to remove you. And I double the slot in case you focus sash. Taking a heat wave hurts here, but I think it's worth it to stop trickling. Because heat train may protect here. And this is strictly the cover for sash, and I can't hit Fluttermane if it's Ghost with Sacred Sword or Terra Blast. So this is just the best option. Right, something's tearing. Right, so he just loses his flutter, man. It's most likely going for trick room. I wonder if he's Rocky Helmet. 
He trying to make protect here. No, he doesn't. That's smart by him to threaten pressure. But we're assault vessel. We should survive. Yeah, Sacred Sword would have been beautiful there, to be honest. Heat wave can hurt here, but we'll survive. And he wasted his terror, so. Oh, he misses. Alright. Dragapult dodges. And no burn. Perfect. Alright, we are threatened by Urshifu as it comes out. But it's Cresselia. And he already blew his terror. So we can safely Terror Blast that. That'll be a KO. And then Sacred Sword that. Okay. Well, we just KO Heat Train. I kind of wanted to double that slot. Oh, he survives. Alright, that's a good ally switch thing. And he's Rocky Helmet. Critical hit. My opponents are getting crits today, man. <laughs> I'm doing everything right. So that last switch saved him there. I, I feel like that was his best play, but if I knock out Heat Train there, he's in a really bad spot. I bring out Urshifu to pressure. I can pressure both slots this way. I'll go for Terra Blast into you. Does Cresselia switch out here? I don't want to keep going for hard read, so I just go for Terra Blast into Cresselia. He can switch out in Ursalona, but. And then go for Ally Switch the next turn. I think he has to switch out here. That's the only way he stays in the game. Oh, it's so tricky. And he trans switches. <laughs> but I'm supposed to go for Surgeon Strikes. Oh, it's Iron Hands. Okay. Moonblast is going to hurt here. And he's Rocky Helmet, too. He didn't have Ursaluna in the back. And he can actually get Trickle him up because I didn't double that slot. So now I'm in trouble. I misplayed there. See, I keep going for the hard reads. I should have just went for it. But I felt like his only way to stay in the game was to switch out in Ursaluna. But he didn't even have it. Is it a moon blast and the Urshifu? So he read me protecting me. I don't think this KOs, but we'll see. Oh, it may KO. I think we can still pull off this win here if this KOs. I 
I think he's going for Turkin. If he does, that'll put us in a really good spot. Because then I can just Dragon Darts. Oh, he went for Luna Blessing, though. Okay. But we are slower than Cresselia, which is good. I think Dazzling KO's heat train from that range. And you get ally switch here. <laughs> that ally switch actually kept him in the game. I don't know why I did that. I gotta stop making these reads, man. They don't really be going for it. I'm just gonna go for Psychic here. Try to pick up. And let's pray somehow I get Phantom Force off. Do KO there. Oh, but you Moonblast for Rigorath. <laughs> what? Why would you Moonblast there? Maybe he was reading the ally switch on my end. You know what? I think he was reading the ally switch on my end. See? You use ally switch yourself, now you ally switch mind games are in your head. Because Fergraph does get access to ally switch, but we're not running it here. So now my opponent's in trouble. Now just psychic to try to drop your special defense now. Yep, and that's going to be game. Yeah, if he could have won there, the 1v1, had he just targeted um, the Fergraph. But <laughs> the ally switch mind games, just for Pokemon having access to ally switch, and him actually having ally switch... Just made him want to cover for it. And now he made the extremely hard read. Just like when I made the read on his allies. That's that's the thing. That's what ally switch does to the game. It's it's so toxic. Like it causes all these advanced reads. Like you're reading somebody clicking ally switch that's never even revealed that they have ally switch. And a lot of times that can hurt. I've done it some so many times where I just assumed Cresselia's gonna click ally switch and then they might not even be carrying it, you know? And that's just, you know, what ally switch does to the community. And if you're just now playing in Scarlet and Violet, and you never played Sword and Shield, then you didn't really get the true terror when, you know, 30% of the field had access to Ally Switch, and there was no cool off for it. It didn't, it didn't fail if you use it twice, like Protect. It was infinite. You can just continue to click it like Wide Guard. Just continue to click Ally Switch until you don't want to click it anymore, right? And just having that move and revealing it one time completely throws your opponent's whole game off. Like, even a Pokemon named Cinderace which is a fire type that's mostly does like, you know, pyro ball and high jump kick and sucker punch, Gets a, used to have access to ally switch. Like, I, I can't make this up, but that's just what it is, and we're going to get into the next one. All right. Ooh, my opponent has a cool team. Okay. Fluttermane, Iron Bundle, Typhlosion, Decidueye. Grim Snarl and Thunder. So Dun Thunders is clearly sunny day here. Which is scary if he leads that, right? How do I do it? I guess. Shenpao Dragonite with Sucker Punch. Then Articuno, Obama, Snow in the back. If we can remove uh, Tornadus.
see. What do we have here? So he can go for Icy Wind plus Terra Blast. I mean, uh, Moon Blast. I guess that's pretty strong, right? I'll just go for Terra Blast here. Sucker Punch. I don't really see it out to the icy wind doesn't gleam. My opponent kind of outlet me here. I'm snarl. My last turn worked out pretty well, I might say. But I guess my opponent didn't know that Dragapult can't get a speed dropped. So that kind of worked out in my favor. So I just go for this play. And just Ice Spinner Grim Snarl. You can Thunder Wave me, but you already outspeed me. That's a good encore though. Because you locked me in the sucker punch. This is still doing a lot of damage. It might just one shot you. Nice. So whatever depends on what my opponent's last get uh, is. I pretty much think this game is over. He doesn't really have a lot of offense left. Even though you paralyzed me and encored me, I think I'm still in a good spot. And it's Decidueye. We haven't tear it, but I can just click, click Sucker Punch into that slot, right? And Terror Blast. Oh, that's a good protect, because now you can get off a Spirit Break, but it's not going to KO. He can still tear. I wonder what he has to tear into. Is it like fire? No, that's not gonna KO. Okay. So he can go for a ghost type attack into me. I can't really get around that, right? I can just sucker punch him for some chip. He's still in an okay position depending on what his terror type is. And he just cancels. <laughs> I don't think the game was over right there. He still has terror, right? Or did he terror flutter me? I'm not 100% sure. I actually had looked down for a second. So I'm not sure if he terror the flutter main. Uh, let me know in the comment below if he terror the flutter main. I just still knocked it out. Not 100% sure about that. But yeah, my opponent completely forgot about the clear body on Dragon uh, Dragapult. And my Dragapult still outsped his Fluttermane. So that's the, you know, one of the reasons that you should run Dragapult over Dragonite. is because the clear body, like, prevents all stat drops and not just the Intimidate. And it's really good. But that's enough about that one. Let's get into the next one. Alright, we have Mixed by Allen. He has, this looks like the team that won Worlds, right? Um, Sohei, I believe his name was. Yeah, I believe it was. Choice Scarf, Landorus, 
and a bulky flutter main rocky helmet among us urshu for chin pal and assault that's iron hands so this team was pretty good But I think that Dragapult really goes in on him. Unless he's booster energy speed. Right? But he doesn't really have real answers into Obama Snow Articuno. I actually think if I can redo my team. I think I would add... Uh, I would get rid of the Water Terror and Articudo and make it Ground Terror. Or something that's, you know, good against Electric. And then give this Water Terror, like Swap Terrors. I think the Fairy Terror is good when you're trying to survive, like, Wicked Blows. <clears throat> and play against, like, the, the Outrage. But, you know, Terra Fairy is kind of losing its value because... Choice Band Outrage by Dragonite is not as common anymore. It's kind of falling off. Alright, All right, so he's not Choice Band. I mean, he's not Booster Energy. So we can go for Phantom Force here. Terror. Terror Blast. One shot Urshifu. So we can't pick up the, the KO on Fluttermane this turn, but we can, you know, force something, a lot of damage into that slot next turn. Because Chen Pao should survive this turn, right? You may even switch Fluttermane, because it should be feel threatened by the Dragon Pro. But this is why the Terra Electric is here. To help you, you know, remove Urshifu from the field. Urshifu is usually not ever feeling threatened by Chenpa being on the field, right? Like getting one shot by it. I mean, it should fear the the Dragapult one shot in it, but it should think the Dragapult is targeting Fluttermane, which I am. All right, so we get Phantom Force off. It's just dazzling. We should take that because we're assault vest and we it's not super effective. Nice. It doesn't even do 50%. Assault vest chin power is so good. It's underrated. And that should be a one-hit KO. Oh he of course he's focused sash. <laughs> I swear, man, these kids be just having the most random sets. Like you never really see focus sash chin power. I mean uh focus sash Urshifu anymore. Yeah, so we just kind of blew our Terra there. I mean, he didn't even target uh, Dragapult, which I thought he would. I think it's safe for Articuno to tail win here. Fluttermane has to switch or he's going to get KO'd, right? And he can't be focused out on Fluttermane because he's already on the Chimpow. I mean, the I keep calling it Chimpow, the Urshifu. I can't believe he's focused as Water Urshifu. Like, I literally, like, I'm just trying to get, I'm trying to win, man. I'm trying to get lucky. And they be having, like, these most, the, the most, I'm trying not to win with luck. But these kids be having, like, the most, you know, random sets. Like, what is this, Terra Normal? Oh, Terra Fairy. Okay. So we might not KO there. Can't believe it was Focus Sash, man. That just really ruined all my plans. Yeah, it's Choice Band, so that's... Oh, we get a crit there. That might have mattered. Um, I might have to do the calc after this game to see if Choice Band... Uh, Dragon Pole one shot Spider Man without a crit. And Bright Potter allows us to dodge the... 
Surgeon Strikes. That was a very lucky turn for me. I'm not sure, guys. Um, before we, I, you know, go between the video and do the calc, do you think that Choice Band Phantom Force 90 base power one shots Futterman? Because Futterman's physical defense is not the best. What could he have in the back? Among Us, Iron Hands, Outlanders. I think I want to save my Dragapult. Well, I'd rather not get Sucker Punched here. And then just Blizzard. Chen is still pretty threatening, alright? But my Dragapult is always in uh, Sucker Punch range. Yep. So he has to go for that, just to threaten that slot. So it's Iron Hands. Can we survive if we get up uh, Roarville? We may be able to. I'll go for Roarville and Blizzard. So we flinch. And his Ice Spinner. All right, that's, that's not a 2KO even with Rocky. Oh yeah, Rocky Helmet chip is clutch there because now we can double blizzard so it wasn't a two hit ko even without um the screens up but now i have screens so i do think i want to earth power iron hands and blizzard and we can also dodge attacks here with articuno still Heavy slam. Ooh, I don't. I wonder if it. I didn't minimize, so. Okay. I think I should have doubled the chin pal. I'm gonna go for Blizzard here. I think we can beat Iron Hands as long as we take out chin pal, right? And I'll go for Roost. He can still miss. Heavy Slam did a lot for us to have though. He hits, but we have a veil up and screens. Okay. And we are faster than our hands. Nice. We got a freeze chance here too. Alright, no freeze. But he can't target both. It's just drain punch. Okay. And now we get our Dragapult back in for free. And he can only click a wild charge or heavy slam into it, right? Actually, Dragon Darts is uh, 100, is 100 base power, right? So Dragon Darts might... Well, no, we're terror than the Ghost, so... The Ghost always does more damage. Let me just go for Blizzard and Phantom Force here. I wonder if that crit kind of won me the game immediately. I'm not sure, but we played our outs. And there's Phantom Force. And just drain punch, he hits, but that still doesn't KO. He gets a little bit of health back. And that should be game. 
we'll just freeze draw just to hit 100% accurate moves. Nice, and we win. Whew, this team fit is so fun. It is RNG based. I have been getting a, a really lucky this episode, but that's this team though. I, I you know, play towards your outs. It's meant to have a lot of RNG. I can't do anything about the crits. But you know, the, the freezes and the you know Articuno dodging attacks, that's all part of the game. But let's get into the next one. Let's well let's get into one final battle, then we're gonna do a little early review. All right, so final match of the day, we have Dozo. <clears throat> That's interesting. But he doesn't have good speed control. He has Glamora, Iron Hands, Chiyu, and Landers. Urshifu can be okay here. It's good into three of the, uh, the six. Which makes me kind of want to lead it. I feel like Dragon Ball does so much damage here, though. I, mean, I bring Articuno by my stone in the back. I like Urshifu here. All right, let's get into our final match. So what's the scariest thing here? Heat wave, grass terror, fake out in the chimpow. I think I'll go for double fighting type attack into I want to survive here with Chimpa, so I'll Terror, Sacred Sword, plus combat. Alright, that switches. As long as he doesn't go into Ghost. I doubled you, though. I doubled up that slot. There's a Terror. Oh, that's my Terror. Okay. Let's see if he tears. So what does he tear in two? No terror, just heat wave, scarf heat wave, and he misses. Still did a lot of damage. But we now we know he's scarf. And it's starting to be here. We want to go in Iron Hands. Tech. Most likely, he tears in the water here if he does tear. He'll probably just fake out. He should. Um, is he Scarf? Oh, he's switching out. Okay. Is it Among Us? charge
I think I want to do big damage to Grimoire. It may switch. I want to go into Chen Pao. Yeah. Chen Pao is one of the disposable Pokemon. I think Urshifu is valuable for this in game. It's just mortal spin. They're trying to get up poison. I could have went for uh, a roar veil there. Actually, might need to go for it next turn. Well, we KO Glamora here. Oh, he survives. That's that's good for us, actually. That is enough to KO. All right, now we get Articuno in. Snow Cloak is up. Aurora Veil is up. Uh, next turn. And Bright Powder is active. So we want to go for the Veil here, because we need to get our Archival as bulky as possible and go for the start clicking Blizzard. I could click Tailwind next turn, then Blizzard with... Oh yeah, he's saving a Terra for Landorus. It's probably most likely Terra Water. If it's Terra Grass, then we're in a really good... I mean, Terra uh, Flying, they're in a really good spot. I think it may be Assault Vest Terra Flying. And he misses Wild Charge. Perfect. Perfect. And that's the strength of this Articuno, man. Like, <laughs> it literally just dodges moves. It's hard to hit it. And it's bulky as well. Yeah, I, I think um, if I was to remake this team or if I uh, feature, like, another similar team, I would change Articuno's Terra type. To something that resists the electric type attacks or is immune to it or it's just at least neutral with it so blizzard here and tailwind i just want to make sure that i'm out speeding Yeah, see, that's why I want to go for Tailwind. I'm shocked he hit that rock slide. Ah, he get the flinch and he didn't terror. And he gets wild charge off. Okay. Wow, he didn't terror. So I'm going to earth power you. And Blizzard. Why did he? <laughs> he's still not tearing. Oh, he's focus sash. Ah, okay. Uh, so double Blizzard would have just won me the game right there. And he hits another double rock slide. I wonder why he's not tearing. Alright, so I still have Veil up, right? So he's Focus Sash. So the fact that he's not tearing makes me think that he's Terra Flying. So Terra Flying is going to do more damage than Wild Charge, right? So I think I just Aqua Jet you and then Surgeon Strikes next turn. I think we still win. And if he tears Iron Hands into grass, then I can just close combat you. With with the Aurora Veil up, we should survive on Urshifu. I have bulk on it. And he still is not tearing. Okay. Yeah, Double Blizzard would have won me the game last time. I didn't think that it was Sash, but I knew he wasn't Scarf. 
Oh, he doesn't even go for certain strikes. I mean, the wild charge. I get what he's going for there. But I'm just going to go for close combat. The only thing that saves him here is Terra Fairy. So there's his Terra. I, I believe it's Grass. The way he's been holding it, I believe it's Grass. Yep, okay. So we did the right move by clicking close combat here. Nice, and we get the KO. He did a good job holding that Terra, man. <laughs> he held it down. But if I just if I just surgeon strikes the last turn, but I, I I'm never going for surgeon strikes in the uh iron hands while he still has his terror. But he definitely held it. That was a pretty prone game. Um <laughs> this team has a, so much RNG to it, it's fun. But when you're using this team, if you want to play with it, um just make sure that you're aware that you know sometimes the RNG you're gonna need it to win. Because Articuno is not that powerful of a Pokemon, but it is fun to use. Like, it's fun to go for, like, the freezes and just make your opponent, like, you know, rage out because he's missing attacks that are usually 100% accurate. But with that being said, let's get into a little early review with this team. All right, so getting into our first review after the video with this team. Um, let's start with some of the weaknesses. There are some weaknesses that I've noticed already with this team. Um, Godango is, has a really good matchup to this team. Uh, you can remove it immediately with uh, Dragapult, but if it's led with Tornadus, then you know you kind of have a tricky spot. If it's like Steel Terror plus uh, Choice Specs, make it rain, it can just outspeed and one shot Dragapult on Tailwind, right? You can also remove it with like Urshifu uh, Surgeon Strikes next to Chimpow. And Chimpow, if the Terra's in the water, can also remove it with uh, Terra Blast. So you have ways of dealing with it, but it still doesn't make it easy. Uh, opposing Water Urshifu can be kind of annoying for this team as well. And Tornadus in general being able to get... Like, I was... It, it didn't go for, you know, a weather control one time in this video. But I was so, you know, ready to remove it. So, it, to prevent it from going for any weather control. It just never went for it. But the way I played it, I didn't really just lead Articuno Obama so because they had Tornadus. And that's specifically the reason why I didn't lead it. Because it, it, it could be really good on lead. But I pretty much went against a Tornadus on every single team, right? And then from that point, you just don't want to just easily give up your weather and have to switch a Bomb of Snow out. Because if it's not Ferrigarai switching in, then the other Pokemon are relatively frail. Even with Assault Vest, like, Chen Pao still doesn't want to take a lot of damage on switching. The Assault Vest is just, like, to give you some surprise bulk against special attackers, right? But it's not made to, like, be a switch-in type Pokemon. So... Once if you switch Obama Snow out, then something's taking a lot of damage in the back. So that's why I kind of you know brought it in the back a lot of the times, and it worked out. We went undefeated in this video, and you know I felt like this team was really cool, and we got pretty high up on the ladder. We entered the uh, top 100 with this team. So if you like this team, go ahead and give it a try. There's a rental code up at the top right, as well as a rental code in the description below, and a Pokey Pace for anyone that wants to play on Showdown. But thank you all for coming out. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, deuces.